Why can't I tune outside the preset or frame bands in SDR Uno? Here we are looking at a chunk of the spectrum centered on about 14.1 megahertz uh, and it actually covers the range from about 13.3 up to 15.1 uh, megahertz. So the 20 meter band uh, is somewhere here in the middle between 14 and 14.3 and uh, normally as you uh, tune through the band and I'm, I'm going to scroll through with the scroll wheel here you'll see that the um, tune frequency 14.129 and the local oscillator frequency uh, move to match. So another option is to use the band preset buttons up here. And if we click on 20 meters, uh, now we find that the sample rate has been chosen to give us a width of exactly uh, 389 kilohertz. In other words, to frame the entire 14.0 to 14.3 band. And uh, the LO has been set to be in the middle of that range at 14.175. So now we are freely able to move around in the band and tune to different frequencies that are active. And if we use the scroll wheel to tune, we notice that now the LO remains fixed as we go through the band. And the reason the LO remains fixed is because when we selected that band, 20 meters, the LO lock button was also engaged and the reason for that is quite simple when we get up to the high end of the band here as we continue to scroll up we're stopped at the high end of the band and the reason for that is quite simply to stop you getting distracted you know that the entire 20 meter band will be framed at all times as you move up and down now what happens if you want to get outside this band well it's quite simple there's a couple of ways to do it. The first one is simply to turn off LO lock. And uh, the nice thing about doing that is that you still have the same width of the band, but now as you scroll down lower and lower in frequency, you'll see that the LO moves down also. So you're entitled to go outside the band if you like. Uh, the, let's go back to where we were framed. The other way, um, now again we're band framed on 20 meters is to just turn off the band framing so if we deselect that then uh, we're now able again to change our VFO frequency and as we scroll around at the same time whoops I, uh, <laughs> I shouldn't have hit that digit uh, as, as we scroll around in frequency uh, the LO moves up and down also. The disadvantage to just turning off the framing button is you'll notice that the width of the spectrum now has gone back to 2 megahertz, as defined by the uh, sample rate and the decimation of 1. So we have a much broader view here than if we just selected 20 meters which restricts our window to 300 kilohertz of bandwidth and uh, if, if we turn off LO lock uh, again we're free to move up and down off the extremes of the band, the high end or the low end, but now the total width that we're looking at remains fixed at about 390 kilohertz. So that is the reason why um, you can't move outside the preset band. It's to make sure that you stay within the band that you've selected. It's a convenience feature, but if you do want to move outside the band, it can easily be accomplished either by deselecting the band select button or by turning off LO lock. And in passing, if you have a pan adapter set up, one important thing to remember is, uh, for example, if I select 20 meters here, and then I go to my rig and I try and change it to 40 meters, that change will not take effect because, again, the LO has been locked. So UNO will not respond to uh, the 40 meter frequencies because that's outside the range that we have framed by using the 20 meter button. So if I want to go to 40 meters by pressing a button on the rig, uh, the solution again, as before, is just turn off the LO lock button and then you can change bands on your uh, rig and it will be reflected here in SDR Uno.